you have it thrown a shoe in Congressman Carnahan, please step up and do so. We have Every another number. contestant. In fact, we have three contestants. Everything about Congressman Carnahan is underhanded, so it's okay to throw it underhanded. Medicine, internal medicine, sure. What do you, what do you, what are your worries? What do you think about this? Well, I don't, I don't want. It's bad enough already, but I don't want the government uh, having the final say and and decision making uh, and and mistakenly thinking they can do a better job than it's being right done right now. The cuts in Medicare reimbursement, how will that affect you? It, well, that that will limit. That, I can't, right now it's hard to get by as a family doctor practicing medicine as it is now without hardly any, any raises and reimbursements over, over a long period of time, in fact cuts already, so 20% to me would be like less than what it cost me to run the practice. So it would probably limit access to health care by, you know, Medicare beneficiaries. I, since I'm a family doctor, I do a little bit of everything, so... I, I would hate. I would hate to. I would hate to, you know, not not take care of that segment of the population. But I wouldn't be able to afford. It. Yes, no one's subsidizing me, paying my malpractice uh, insurance. You know, all my costs. Um, uh, that brings up another point. There's no, there's little or no tort reform or liability reform discussed here, and that's the biggest one of the biggest costs of doing business in a medical in a medical office or any business for that. Who's gonna? They're gonna make. They're gonna ultimately. Secretary of Health and Human Services are ultimately gonna make the final say and guide how I diagnose and how I treat. Well, are they gonna assume li liability? Do you want us, the people, the federal government, assuming liability? 
for those decisions. You can't. You know, you can't have it. You can't have it both ways. How much did it cost you to go to medical school? Well, I've been out 20 plus years, and I had I had some scholarships, so so my debt wasn't. You know, you, you probably need to talk to the guys that have been out the last 10 to 15. And they come out in the whole uh, 100 grand. Six figures. They're coming out at least six figures. And so so what incentive would people have to go to school? You know, 11 years minimum just to be a family practice, uh, 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 board certified in family practice, and assume all that liability, and it get paid less and less and less over time. It, it, what incentive? I mean, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna have a crisis with how many physicians become trained here in America? I don't think people want that. <laughs> That's a slow burn, isn't it? And, oh, he's slow. <laughs> slow burn for a slow man. <laughs> This is what happens when you don't represent the oh, will of your constituents. I love the way fire smells when it's burning tyranny. Need some marshmallows. That's November for you, buddy. Oh. There you go. <laughs>